Okay, so uh, diabetes is uh, a very common uh, name that you must have heard because India, in India, it's a very common uh, disease. Almost, uh, if you have 100 patients in your OPD, uh, you can uh, safely assume that you will be getting 8 to 10 diabetes patients among those 100. So diabetes is basically a metabolic disease where uh, all the systems are affected. It has its microvascular and macro macrovascular complications. So in layman terms, if I had to explain what is diabetes, I will say that for a layman to understand, it is when your sugar levels, your blood sugar levels are beyond the normal limits. That is basically for a layman, that is diabetes mellitus. You have your microvascular complications, you have your macrovascular complications, in macrovascular complications you have your larger organs which get affected like your heart, your brain, your kidney. And in your microvascular you have your eyes, you have your uh, nerves, you have your uh, 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 small arteries that get affected with diabetes. So usually we go by the classic symptoms that is your polydipsia, polyuria, polypagia that is a person is more thirsty, he goes uh, to, he urinates more often, he uses the washroom more often. So these are the classic symptoms. But then you, you may not, you may miss out a lot of cases if you just go by those classic symptoms. If there is unexplained weakness, you feel the patient comes and says that I am feeling very uh, lethargic, very tired of late or I have been losing weight very rapidly or I have a history and then you will have to ask about the family history and if he says yes I have a few of my blood relatives who are already suffering from diabetes then that should ring an alarm bell and or if there is a wound that is not healing or if there is a repeated infection so you should immediately go for a blood sugar test that is the basic thing the first thing you should do once your patient comes back to you with his blood reports you see if it's within the normal limits that is within 100 then good and good to go you, then you investigate for other causes. If it's between 100, 100 to 110, then you go for lifestyle management. Then you, you try to, you know, keep it within 100. And if it is uh, below 126, uh, with the, from 110 to 126, there is impaired glucose tolerance. So there you aggressively go for lifestyle management, weight reduction, dietary uh, restrictions, physical activity, low stress, cessation of tobacco, uh, moderate alcohol or if they can quit alcohol even better so and some uh, meditation some yoga you add to their uh, routine so these are the lifestyle managements you advise but if it is beyond 126 and your postprandial blood sugars are beyond 200 you have to go for medications right. of course it does of course it does because then what happens is post your food the insulin which is secreted it creates spikes so that is not healthy for anyone and especially for diabetes patients yeah Thank you.